Well, hello. You can call me Ace. Uh, this is my first time streaming. Again, try it out for probably about an hour, maybe a little more. And I'm just going to start with Shovel Knight because I know the game really well. And it has a good story, uh, which I mean both uh, story out of the game, but also development wise. So, this is something I know pretty well. So, let's just go. Uh, I'm just going to do the default campaign. And uh, let's just get going. So what I meant by this having like a good story, I meant really uh, in terms of like development. Because I would definitely call this game probably the most successful Kickstarter game in multiple ways. It, I would say it, it probably was the definitely the one that uh, that got Kickstarter to be not notable and everything. Uh, that in my number nine, which I I will not talk about my number nine because I have uh, things I would say about my number nine I do not want to get into right now. So just gonna have some fun playing uh, the premier Kickstarter game. I guess I'll go into the dubs uh, a bit as well. This is by Yacht Club. This, let's see, I believe this was also their first game. General, not quote me on that. Let's get gigging. Yeah, okay. Uh, Shovel Knight was there first. So... Shovel Knight really is just like a uh, pretty uh, special game because of that. Yacht Club is a uh, full former Way Forward people who did like Shantae and... Uh, what else? Shantae... Uh, primarily no, Shantae. Just, uh, uh, the game itself... Uh, just takes a lot from NES games, Mega Man, uh, NES DuckTales, Castlevania. It's fairly, I, I wouldn't really call it challenging, I guess, at least for me, but at least it keeps you on your toes. And there are some holes that do kind of suck, so you just kind of have to deal with that. Uh, I guess I'll talk about the music for a second, because I really do like the composers. Uh, one of the composers is Jake Kaufman. He's been doing, like, a lot of stuff in the indie, uh, video game scene for, like... Actually, not even the indie scene, for, like, 20 years now. He was worked on a lot of the Shantae games. Uh, let's see, he did stuff for OC Remix, which is just, like, remixing video game tracks if you remember that. Uh, which most of you probably don't even know about. Know what that is. Let's see. Uh, and you know, he's been the composer on Shovel Knight since Inception, done all the DLC. I don't... Uh, he's currently not at Way Forward. I think he's just a freelancer. Uh, he, is, he also goes by Bert, if you've heard of that name. So yeah, much like DuckTales, uh, Pogo sticking your way through the game works very well. So that's going to be what I'm going to do the most. Otherwise... It's a pretty good tutorial. It's gonna be weird going uh, through this without uh, the charge shovel for a bit because I usually 
put in the name, for, or put in the uh, name code for that, or something like that. But, yeah, whatever. Anyway, save up cash because you will need it. Uh, you have to buy all of your sub weapons, pretty much. So, it is a very good idea to get as much as you can. Uh, also pick up music notes. They can be traded in for 500 gold at the hub area. So, and those are... That is very precious material. So, go. Always pick those up. Whenever I try to break something, I am. Uh, in a whole I'm going to try to uh, break all the boxes. Because stuff does drop occasionally. If you receive a crack in the hole, you can burst it open. Health restores are usually in the trays over here. Uh, it's the good old Castlevania turkey. Uh, it's not on the wall this time, so that's very nice. Appreciate that. That's always uh, good. You know, well, me, you get tired of it sometimes. Oh, and uh, those are checkpoints. You can break some checkpoints. I pretty sure the ones in the tutorial you can't break, or at least uh, the ones that are covered with golden feathers you cannot break. So just ignore those. But yeah, you can break checkpoints and get gold from that. Which is very lucrative. And I succeeded. Oh, also I should talk about the other composer who did some of the guest work on this game. Uh, she worked on a decent amount of Mega Man games. Uh, she was mainly at Capcom. Uh, Manami Matsumae. I forget exactly which Mega Man game she worked on, but I'm pretty sure it was the... I, I, I'm pretty sure it was just the NES era. I don't think she worked on the first one. She might have done... I want to say she did, like, Bubble Man, but I feel like that's completely wrong. Yeah, okay, she was the co-composer uh, on Mega Man 2. Okay, no, she only did Mega Man 2. Okay, I, might, I think I was right with the Bubble Man. Okay, so she... Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did the Bubble Man theme in Mega Man 2. I guess we can talk about uh, the pinnacle Shovel Knight himself. He is very much inspired by the Dragon Quest uh, hero with helmet, with horns, uh, also the Warrior of Light with the horns, from the Amano art. Okay. Photosticking in this game is incredibly fun. Just like hopping on the Wyvern dude, following their trail is very nice. Oh, and as another note, if this is my first time streaming, so if there is any uh, audio issues that you catch, uh, I will try to fix them by next time. I don't really care the most the gold from the dragon fell uh, off into that hole. I will have enough for all my purposes as long as I don't like, die and give up any of the gold I have. I don't think I'm going to go for 100% here. I'm going to fight all the bosses and I'm going to try to pick up most of the uh, and I'm gonna pick up, like, all the sub-weapons and, like, key items like that. 
but I don't think I'm gonna grab all the music notes. So I might not fill out my magic myself. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, so I'm Anyway, this game came out like nine years ago, which is insane. Like I was, I was in high school when this came out. Crazy. And here is our uh, rival character, our Virgil, our. Our insert synonym here for a rival character. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've got no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters. Because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Okay, I think uh, the Black Knight fight over here is pretty easy. He just... Uh, he's very similar to, I would say, Metal Man from Mega Man 2. He just walks. Uh, he does not react to you attacking. Time. Actually, he does react to you when you attack. So yeah, and... Uh, he jump when you jump? No. But you'll but he unlike Mel Man, he uh, has a period where he just doesn't do anything. He just laughs. Oh, okay. I was a little greedy there. Oops. That's no big deal. This is pretty fair. I didn't actually lose any gold, I'll be able to recover all that. I'm playing at a very weird angle now, so I was not looking at my health. I always do find that, uh, while well, you only have your default shovel, the right way to go is to just, uh, pogo stick. <laughs> That's pretty much the same thing. There we go. That's fine. Very easy to get a trap in the corner. And we get this nice little interlude of the campfire every time we complete a level. And get a nice little dream where I'm sure nothing dramatic happens. Or we just have a nightmare about uh, our dear friend falling like a million feet from the air. You shake and we wake up. And you can dig the campfire. Uh, and, uh, nice achievement. Uh, yeah, thanks, Smokey the Bear. We got. We prevented the forest fires and we got some cash. Okay, so this is the first village. There is another village later in the game. Uh, they disrespect the shovel over here. Okay, the bard is probably the most important PC because you just trade all your music sheets over and he gives you cash. So we got a few things we can do. Up top, those people increase your health and magic. This guy you can buy meal tickets for, and you use those to get health items. Over here, we have uh, this frogman. See, this you want to buy these immediately. These are essentially E tanks uh, for the NPC that fills them. Uh, there are a couple other options, but really the health refill is the only useful one. The other, uh, one of the other two gets covered by sub-weapon and uh, 
The last one's just a magnet for money. And this guy is overpriced. I... Let's see. It's worth it to get the fishing rod. I know that. I... Uh, the Chaos Spear is kind of whatever to me. Honestly. And that's also a hidden area. Whenever I use the Chaos Spear, it just uh, it doesn't work out that much. Good old Grandma Swamp. Okay, I, I don't need my stuff right now. Right for the tutorial. And this is one of the fan favorite NPCs, Mona, uh, with a mini game where you just reflect things with the shop. There we go, that's fine. There we go. Do you need a hundred for what you want out of this main game? I think it's a hundred. It, it really is not that bad. I have plenty, as you can see. I guess I missed the whole one. Alright, got some cash and a music note. I will go ahead and turn in the... Actually, wait, no, I'll get the... There's another music note in the village. I'll go grab that before I turn those in. And then I'll spend some cash for help and magic. You can steal this child's uh, good old... It's this wheel and stick instead of ball and stick. Let's see. Uh, I'm just okay. That wait. Can I talk to you? Do you give me something? Oh, it's just to prove that I'm shovel knight. Anyway, uh, jump on top of that poor woman's shoulders. Pop open this chest. We got music notes, sheet, some cash. Oh, you can uh, pogo stick jump on that child's wheel for, like, uh, an achievement, I think. I'm not interested. Gonna go back to the bar. Uh, got way more cash. Oh, he can also just perform the game's music anytime if you want to listen to it. Uh, I'll just buy a meal ticket. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait, that is... I do not have that. But uh, the way I, how I play the game, I'm definitely going to prioritize health a bit more. I really only use, like, one sub-weapon, mostly. So... I don't really care too much. Okay, I guess I'm just going to save cash and wait for those. Actually, I do need to save, like, a thousand cash for the next level. Because there are shops in levels that are hidden and that you can get uh, items that are cheaper than from where you would usually get them. And say hello to da, 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 the Trouble King, who has awakened me, immortal. Dost thou need aid? Anyway, he fills uh, your chalices. Again, one's about becoming invincible. That is not useful because the sub-weapon does something very similar to that. So... I suggest taking both as those. And now, we dance. But yeah, welcome to this horrible uh, hybrid of an apple and a trout. Uh, I suppose the big dude is a, a whale, but, but let's not sweat the details on this one. It's fine, he's beautiful. I respect him. His kingdom may be, uh, incredibly freaky, but, you know, I, I'll work with it. I forgot how long this was. Okay. I, I, 
I got it. I got it, man. Oh. Okay. You look a little like you have some stomach issues there, dude. Uh, okay, well. Uh, you can also fish here, I believe. You get music, no. Whatever, man, it's cool. I forget if magic recovers between levels. I am pretty sure it does, but let's find out. Anyway, we will start with King Knight. I, I would call King's Knight probably the fan favorite. He's one of the DLC characters. I think he won last in the popularity poll pre-release for a, a DLC campaign now. Because first it was Plague Knight, then it was uh, Spectre Knight, and then finally King's Knight. So we got the good. We bust that open for the Yacht Club logo. Tie around those guys, but whatever. Any sparkles, you fish those up, and you get something good. Usually, goldfish, which is worth 350 gold in cash. Let's see. Oh okay, yeah, back to uh, King Guy. I, I would say he is now probably the fan favorite. They conducted the poll uh, before the game was out at the for the Kickstarter campaign, so you didn't really get like everyone's line, so you didn't know their full characterization. Uh, I really wish a different character got a campaign instead of uh, one of the ones listed. I think they're all good, but I, I think it's pretty disappointing we did not get a Fortnite campaign because he seems the most, like, actually story important since he was helping my team in four. Anyway, we got the classic castle set up, uh, scalding oil. Old. Oh, I guess I should point out that King Knight is not actually a king. He is a knight. That is, I, I guess, the best way to describe it. he is shaped as a king. This is just some other dude's castle. I, th this is also the, probably the most infamous enemy in the game, the Propeller Rats, because they are hilarious. Uh, it's like the enemy that comes out from the holes in uh, Mega Man 2, I except they are a rat with a propeller tied to them. I've not played uh, the DLC campaigns, but I'm pretty sure there is an upgraded form of this. It's like a rat king or a, a rat nest, whatever it's called where they're, like, multiple tangled by their tails. Which, those are, uh, not, not very pleasant to look at. Okay, here's the first checkpoint I can actually destroy. So, you just break it, get a lot of cash, I'll be destroying most of the checkpoints I get. There are some levels I would not. Okay, real quick, actually, let me do something out of chat. There's, like, a bot in there. All right, we're good. Uh, the knights are pretty easy to deal with there. Oh, actually, I probably should talk about one of the other very obvious influences I totally forgot to talk about. Uh, Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is a lot of the same uh, stuff this game has. Uh, the down thrust here is a bit more useful than the one in Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is one of the weirder Zelda's side-scroller. I think it's fine. I don't know if anything 
too special to say about it. I'm not like a hater on it or whatever. That's just funny. Uh, might be able to get up there if I still over jump off of this guy. No, okay. I forget the chandeliers respawn if I go down and back up. They do. That's good. That's good. It's worth enough cash to waste 90. Okay, so that's our first secret over there, the conveniently shovel knight shaped hole. Oh, always a fan of those. And now we just enter this hole, which it was made for me, and I figured I should go into it. And, oh look, a different colored chest. And it's the shopkeep from earlier. So these sub weapons pop up in the shop after you complete level, but they are also in the level uh, at a somewhat significantly cheaper price. I'm pretty sure it's 1500 at the village, but here it is just 1000 and it's obviously worth it. Uh, I don't really care too much about the flare wand, I just uh, go ahead and use the more utility things like the fishing rod and the next sub weapon we'll get. Okay, I went in the right direction when I got kids, so that's good. I only have two bars of health, but that's really not an issue. We have this is. Okay, just, oh, the apple filled up enough. I thought it would just be one tip. I guess that's what uh, the carrot is. Uh, I believe you can go up there, but uh, this is a long way around, and you get more stuff if you go over here. Well, by more stuff, I mean, I don't know, a couple significant things, I guess. Oh, gosh. Do I... That's not good. Huh. Okay. I hope those respawn. If they don't, no big deal. Okay, well. I think I can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can make that jump regardless. I think I realized that uh, it's probably a bad idea to bust everything. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, I can't block. Oh. I could block those. Doesn't make sense. Oh, I didn't point out the cue for breakable walls in this one. It's the little shield and signal there. And you can again over here for an actual chest. So, I'm, I'm going to go grab that checkpoint, but I just want to check out. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I want to keep that checkpoint. You like. How, how much is it? It's like 2... 220? Or whatever. I don't know, but I'm not really worried. This level short. And, uh, like, I think even this level, I'm probably going to save a few. It's good old Griffin. Uh, very similar to the dog enemy from, uh, or the dog mini-boss from Mega Man 2. I guess the cat one from uh, Mega Man 3. Really, I can't do it at that angle. I can only do it from the front. That's interesting. And then you can use corpse like any good platformer. Oh, I... Oh, should I leave this one? Actually, I should. There's a platforming section. I'll just be careful and make this one. Whatever. Because I think I have actually fallen on the upcoming platforming section at least like one time. Let's see, I played base Shovel Knight, I think, like 
at least five times. I can't complete it before, though. Because there are so many different versions that have, like, a bonus thing, like, uh, in the PlayStation version, you can fight uh, pre-reboot God of War Kratos, and that's really strange that that character still exists in that way. But you get the Blades of Chaos if you beat him, and those are pretty good. Uh, I have not played the Xbox version where uh, you do, uh, was it, the Turbo Tunnel from the Battletoads. I think you just fight the Battletoads. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I've not done that. It's been a while since I've looked at the fight online. But I'm not particularly fond of the Battletoads, so I'm cool with that. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll get rid of this one. Yeah, that was cool. You. Okay, good. Let's see. So, gems in the window. Got a rat. I will take the second go around because I'm terrified. Let's see. The pace I'm at, uh, I can probably do the next main level as well. That's a pretty good stopping point since I think that's one of the better designed bosses. go through, like, the timeline of the development, I think. Let's see, how do I do the select? Okay, it's like swap. Now that is... Okay, well, I just waste time. Uh... Great. Thank you. I would rather have you be consumption. You can whatever I'm not gonna. Not free. Okay, so got Pellerat. And there we go. I think that was the hardest platforming level. Uh watch out for the chandeliers. I think one of these is also fake. As in like there's a bomb in one of them. No, no, it's not. Okay. Griffin. Looks very cute. You know, all, all, uh, about to say, <laughs> being gold and dignified. Uh, regal and dignified. So gets trapped in a loop if you just go ahead and uh, bounce on him. Oh, oops. No, but you were mistaken. The Enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence! Okay, actually, I will switch over to the rod. I forgot. He, he does not have recoil. Uh, he does have, like, a, a Yido draw, though, which is with the scepter, which, you know, that's rad. Okay, the confetti's whatever, because he just stays there for a while. There we go. And got the fade time to as well. Good. Okay, yeah, we have plenty to upgrade our health again, so I will go ahead and do that. How many music notes do we have? We have at least, I think, three or four, so that'll work out as well. And now we go back to Shovel Knight's Recurring Nightmare. Let's 
see. While we have some downtime, uh, I guess I'll talk about Yacht Club's next game, which I'm very surprised they uh, actually did. I forget how this battle works in particular. Okay, yeah, it is just this. There's overall battles. Uh, some of them are unique bosses that are actually pretty good. Uh, they're all backer based, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like, I know one is some guys OC who has also popped up in a couple other Kickstarter games. Uh, the other is by far my favorite whenever he shows up. Okay, I was going to talk about uh, Yacht Club's next game, Mina the Hollow, which I'm very glad they're doing because it is definitely something that has not been done in years, which is a... Uh, Game Boy style era Zelda game ish kind of thing. Very glad something like that exists and they're replicating into it. Well, so I would, I would, I was pretty surprised about that. I was sure they were gonna make like an official like follow up to Shovel Knight with like with like SNES graphics or something akin to that. But no, I guess they're just content with the Dig spinoff. Okay, well, Kickstarter pun was in there. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I will also talk about, like, macro-funded stuff in general. It really is a hit and miss kind of thing. Uh, let's see, how many things have I backed? I backed, like... I had not backed Shovel Knight when it first appeared. The first thing I backed was Bloodstained, and that was by far the best one to actually do. I am pretty sure. Let's see, how much does it actually cost? Um, I want to make sure I have enough for sub up in the next area, so I'm just going to wait on that. And, yeah, I don't care about the chaos here. So let's see, Bloodstained. Uh, there's a game. I think it's called Frog's Tale. Uh, that had a Kickstarter a little while ago, or maybe it was on Indiegogo. It was, it was on some kind of crowdfunding site. Uh, that was like a Mario and Luigi-like kind of thing. And since uh, Alpha Dream went under over Nintendo, I figured I might as well put some stuff towards that, because that definitely uh, fills a hole that needs to be filled. Okay, so we are going over to the Lich Shard, a Lair of Spectre Knight, and like a thousand skeletons. Justice in spades! See, after that, uh, I think the only other thing I backed, it's actually pretty recent, it was the Battle Fantasia and Battle Fantasia and Penny Blood duo Kickstarter with the stuff from uh, the Wild Arms games and uh, oh, man, I feel bad for game. Uh, Wild Arms and Shadow Hearts, I'm pretty sure. And again, th those both look really good. Really good. I'm also all for uh, the, the Wild Hearts team since I believe the Elements Garden is there's the fake treasure chest is behind the soundtrack on that, and I think the, that team also worked on the original, but do not quote me on that. And you might know uh, Elman's Garden from Simple Gear. I'm pretty sure they did, like, m pretty much, like, compose most, if not all, the Simple Gear music, which I am a giant fan of Simple Gear. Probably my favorite anime, I would have to say. Okay, really? We're doing this? Okay. I'm very happy about that. But uh, I'm very careful when it comes to Kickstarters. Uh, I took a risk with the Frog Tail one. I hope that works out fine. I have not played any of the betas they have been sending out. Because I don't really want to play anything prior to the full game. So I hope that turns out well. But uh, I really only... Honestly, I can't even say this. Because it's not even correct. Uh, uh, you shouldn't trust a Kickstarter immediately. 
because even with a pedigree, uh, there are definitely some things that have not worked out. Like, uh, of course, one of the more famous Kickstarters that didn't work out was my number nine. Again, I don't really want to go into. And uh, I forget if it was actually Matsu. No, was, was it Matsu now? It was one of the main staff between uh, behind Final Fantasy Tactics. I forget what it was called. It was like Phoenix something. That just like completely dissolved after a while, and that was very disappointing to see. I'm pretty glad I did not back that. I mean, I'm sure, well, at least, Square's getting very good at porting old games, so I'm sure we'll get something tactics-related at some point. Like, that Ogre Tactics uh, remaster, yeah, I guess remaster is the most accurate thing to call it, is very, very good with all the Q uh, QOL it has. Wait, did I say Ogre Tactics? It's Tactics Ogre. I'm very glad about that. Uh, things like uh, Live Live also finally coming over here. It's very appreciative. Or I'm very appreciative of that. I, I'm also pretty sure that was thanks to Toby Fox, which is hilarious. That guy has so much pull, I, I can't help but respect him immensely. Uh, now, if he could somehow uh, persuade Zoom to like get a team to localize Toho games. I would very much appreciate that as well. Because I would like to not rely on fan translations for that was... Do I want to keep that one around? Yeah, I have. Okay, let's just... Is this where the pin shop is? Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, the music here is fantastic. Uh, again, shout out to Jay Kaufman. Uh, I'm pretty sure the couple. They only work on one stage. Uh, they worked on uh, one which will make sense if you end up uh, seeing it, since it is the most uh, Bubble Man like, I suppose. Got good old red skeletons. Let's see. Is that okay, it doesn't crush this bit. So anyway, it's time to play the weight game. Uh I think I need to keep this guy around. Uh that's fine. I did not get rid of uh that checkpoint, so I'm not too bothered by that. I kept that around because I wasn't sure where that section was. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can I re get that? No. Okay. That's fine. That makes things easier. Yeah, I forget. There's, like, I think there's a music sheet on one of these, so that's why I'm trying to be a little careful regarding that. But, uh. Should at least get rid of this game. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, that was a fine place to die. It's really only bad to recover stuff when you are at uh, a 
bowl or something, because then it could actually get unrecoverable depending on the situation you're at. Okay, I'll probably lose that. Uh, Here you need uh, the weight of two beings, please, Mr. Frog. Oh my gosh, you are at the worst angle possible, aren't you? Okay, there we go. Now make a big jump, please. That is literally the wrong direction. That how? how don't fall down, please. Okay, there we go. Finally. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can. Okay. Please. Dude, come on. Come on, man. There we go. Okay. There we go. Finally, how much I do? Uh, I would like this. Okay, I'm pretty sure this leads over to what I want. Okay, I will avoid those for now because the solution is about to arrive. And this is the best sub in the game. I absolutely love the phase locket. It turns out that uh, a become invincible button for like four seconds is pretty good. Because that's just enough time to do just about anything. Let's see if it's the bomb. Let's see that. Solution. Uh, I would like to... Well, actually, I can arrive for more so I'll just do that. It's probably like a little turkey. turkey. Thank you for being generous, game. Do I want to break this one? I... No, I don't like these sections. Okay, this I have to bring our friend over. Not this frog. Okay, well, he just wins inside, so that's fine. Okay, so... Got some cash over here, and good old notes. Do I want to bring our friend in now? Okay, I... No, I don't think I'm good. Okay, only one. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Let's do that. Okay, is this wall? Yes. And is it again? No. Uh. Oh, uh... Can I reach? Yeah, I think I can reach that. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, I think I'm just about in the right area for it, so... Let's hope this works. Hey, there we go. That's what I want. And I'll switch back over to the phase locket. Okay, now we're actually getting to the part where there is just straight up invisible. Hold, I'm pretty sure. Can you go... Because I know you don't have to use the face like it. Um, I guess I can just do that. I forget what one of these holes is the best. Probably just this one. Okay. I will worry about the skull. Uh, you know what? Close enough. This gold skeleton. Very similar to, uh, usually the big dudes at the end of a Mega Man level. The only name I can remember off the top of the head is, uh, the big eyes. I one. Uh, let's just, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that makes my life harder. That is fine. Okay. Goes about that speed, so. Okay, so, uh, these are at least only like one hit skeletons. 
Why do I keep saying skeleton? Skeleton. Skeleton. I don't have Hot Topic on the brain, I can assure you. Okay, I'm... Yeah. So now that we have the phase locket, I can just kind of get up in everyone's face and ruin their lives. Uh, this dude does not really have a life, though. Uh, so that might be an issue. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time. As we saw with your beloved shield knight. Lies! I won't believe such taunt from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> The Enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life, that I may take yours. I'm pretty sure Spectre Knight's campaign is a pretty- Actually, I'm pretty sure all the DLCs are pretty good. Okay, well, I have, uh... Well, get ready to be fumbled, because I'm, uh, not good at fighting Death in Castlevania either, so... <laughs> okay, I should just... I don't know if I keep doing that. Maybe, okay, well, now I'm pretty glad I saved that checkpoint. Okay, well, maybe I, I suppose I can bite the bullet and just refill stuff as well. That's probably a good one. Okay, right now, so, let's do this, do that. Uh, I might be fine. I might probably be fine. Okay, let's have some fun. I will select the room. Probably. Good idea. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, the darkness doesn't do that much. It's fine. And we are done. Yeah, he still has a corporeal body, you know, for the most part. I've completely forgotten what the chest contains here. It is probably a meal ticket, if I had to guess. Hopefully this is the first dream that, you know, provides fruitful, maybe, maybe a ward of some sort. I do not want to know when those start. They start now. Can you just, yeah, kill these guys for a ton of cash? Uh, I'm just trying to stay in the center, so I can still reach shield. Oh, well, I'm at the right place, so it's fine. Got the fire as usual. And we will grab... Da -da -da, a meal ticket. Let's see. I... Do not know what I want to do. I I'll play both the gem levels, I guess. That's probably the correct thing to do. This is This is embarrassing. It's fine. That actually is probably the most recoverable I've ever seen that. Yeah, I'm like, I missed a five. Um, okay, if I do this, yeah, that probably. Yeah. Anyway, these are all pretty simple. Um, oh, yeah, let me go to the actually good level. Uh, I don't know if I'll miss the middle. Uh, I could have positioned myself to get the other pile as well. Uh, there isn't... Oh, man, we're at the end. Good. Okay, I have a ton of cash now, so that's great. 
I will probably go get the Chaos Spear. I forget how good that is. I do not think it's that great. Well, I don't think it's that great, honestly. Okay, here, there are challenge uh, places. This is Phase Lock at 1. I, I'm probably good with 50 magic as long as these are cover like yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay, uh, so we got that. Da -da -da. Uh, is trapped pogo stick here. I'm free. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna take the risk. Because I could be safe with the phase locket, but uh, I just choose not to do the phase locket. And the phase locket work oh, lock it works on activation, so do not worry about being really early. You will be fine. Okay, um, yeah, let's just do this. And you can activate it while you are still invisible, so that is, that helps any of these. So as long as you have magic, you can just keep going. It only lasts for four seconds, which is not a lot of time, but that does not really matter when you can just do this whenever you move back is already. And that's pretty much why it's my favorite sub weapon. Okay, why did I activate? Okay, well, whatever. It was fine. I'm gonna dispatch it. This is the end. Now get the gold cash. And let's head back to the village. Is there... Okay, no, I have to go through a main stage next time. Let's see. I can break up these streams very well, actually. I'm probably gonna go for two hours next time. Since this is my first stream, this is a test, I just want to do an hour, uh, and then analyze it to make sure to iron out any kinks. So, let's just buy some stuff and I will end it from there. Uh, let's get the Chaos here first so I can do the math on this stuff, right? Oh, I need to refill my, uh, bottles well. Hey, Chaos Spear. Uh, we are here to embrace Chaos, not to kill it this time. Can you please keep that in mind? I already have a meal ticket, so... Let's just double up on him. I don't think I've actually traded to it once before. Oh, okay, you just served up the other one immediately. Let's go ahead. Grab this. Nice. Uh, actually, yeah, what does the next step cost? Three, four. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it even if, uh... In short, I'm extremely paranoid about that, so we will just leave the beat. Okay, let's go over here and refill on this. Uh, yeah, I choose very simply. Okay, and now he does not do the dance anymore, so that's good. Uh, there's the next town up there. Oh, I can't actually do the next. Oh, I cannot. I need to leave here. I do not have the correct sub weapon for this area. I forget how. I assume everything is uh, safe now. Yeah, so everything is safe now. Let's see. Is there anything else I want to go over before I stop? I will be uploading the VOD to this on my YouTube channel. Within 24 hours, I'm gonna try. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm gonna prioritize that tomorrow. And next time I stream, I do not know if I'm gonna stream within the next few days. I wanna stream again before next Friday for sure. So maybe like. 
I'm gonna hope somewhere between like Monday and Wednesday. Uh, the RE4 remake uh, comes out. I want to go through that pretty quickly. And I don't really have a good way to stream that since I don't think what I'm equipped with is uh, good enough to stream it. So I will just go ahead and end it here. Uh, I feel really good about this. So that's nice. Let's see, is there anything else I want to talk about? Shovel I related before I go. No, I think I covered most of the stuff I wanted to cover. All right, I will end it here then. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate if you're watching this whole thing since this is my first time streaming. It is undoubtedly going to be very scuffed. So, you know, thanks for taking your time and just parsing through it even. So, I will just peace out then. So, uh, you can call me Ace, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.